Hi, I'm Melinda Dubston and welcome to the I Ching Cafe. And of course, it's our overview for the week of the 3rd of June, Monday, the 3rd of June. Let's get to this week. Remembering that we have this very interesting continuing energy of working on the garden, weeding the garden for June that we carried over from May. And so this week we have just two changing lines. Maybe you'll feel it's a little bit calmer than last week. We had four changing lines demanding our attention. And so let's get to what the week is asking us to pay attention to. Right, so we start the week with hexagram 22, which is called grace. And this is a very interesting symbol of as the sun rises to midday, it rises up across the mountain and you see the light casting against the mountain. We see this beautiful orange glow across the mountain. It just makes the mountain look so beautiful and so majestic. And so this hexagram talks about the beautifying of things, the embellishing of things, the putting onto things, the makeup, the jewelry, the adornments to beautify what is already beautiful. So this lovely image of an Indian bride with all the embellishments and the jewelry and the it's just taking the beautiful person that is already there and adorning them in a way, making them godly by putting on all these adornments onto what's already beautiful. Just like the mountain becomes more majestic and you look at it and you go, wow, when the sunrise and the light and the pinks and the purples and the oranges hit the corners and the surfaces of the mountain. The mountain is still awesome. It just grabs your attention and pulls your focus. And so we're being asked to focus on the things that we adorn, whether it's ourselves we're adorning, whether it's our business. I often talk about this idea that our brand and how our brand looks, how our materials look, is all an example of this grace, this beauty and adorning. It reminds me of a story of a friend who was very technically competent at training and, and putting together these amazing training manuals. Yet she got this hexagram of adorning and it was all about your content is amazing, but it doesn't look very pretty. <laughs> and so what you're asked to do is to make it look amazing and put a beautiful cover on it and the way it's presented and take it to the next level because you've adorned it and you have made it godly, if that makes any sense. So this week we've been drawn to that, to looking at the things that we're creating and making in our state of mind and adorning it, embellishing it. Maybe time to put that bit of perfume on and, you know, coif the hair, whatever, whatever you want to do to embellish yourself and, you know, dress up a little bit. It's about embellishing what you're doing and perhaps that's your brand, your product or something that you're delivering to the market as well. So let's look at our changing lines. Our first changing line talks about something approaching us, a white horse approaching us. This is an opportunity, a person, something that's coming towards us. And what we might do is you might think of this white horse as a threat or something to defend against. And actually it's help. It's an alliance that is coming towards us. And we are seeing the help coming as a threat that needs to be defended against rather than the marriage that should take place with this horse, the opportunity to embrace what is coming. So have your eyes and ears open this week for things where you feel a reaction, which is I must defend to Maybe this is actually an alliance that can help me and is not here to attack me. And that's in position four. And our second change line is in position six. And this is the ultimate bridal procession through the town. <laughs> taking that analogy further of actually just taking what is essential, what is core to what you're doing, to what's important for this week, and just putting it out there, putting it in and adorning it, and letting everyone come to see and experience how beautiful it truly is. So go all out and just let it out <laughs> and take that procession down High Street and let others witness the core, the beauty that's inside you, inside the process you're in, inside your business, inside that project. Just give it opportunity to shine. Don't hide it. Just go for it. And as we round out this week, we trigger hexagram 55, which is Abundance, this is the money hexagram. Yay, piles and piles of money. So it talks about some abundance flowing to us at the end of this week. And I just feel like you've got to let people know and celebrate the beautiful thing that you've created or part of you or share it out, be generous. See the help coming as help and not as an attack. And there's this wonderful energy of abundant opportunities flowing 
through the end of this week. Certainly a very interesting week compared to last week with all the work we had in cutting away what was no longer necessary. Good luck with this week and of course if you've not yet done so remember to subscribe so you keep on getting the videos and the podcast episodes as they drop and of course share 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 the love with someone who you'd like to adorn with beauty and grace and goodness for this week. Thank you so much and we'll chat next week.